in this video i explain types of bell drive so here you see this is the driving pulley here the driven pulley so there are number of way to transmitting the power from the driven pulley to the driving pulley the power from one pulley to another pulley may be transmitted by any of the following type of bell drive so here we study total seven types of bell drive first one is open bell drive second one is the cross bell drive third one is the quarter turn bell drive fourth one is bell drive with idler pulley means in a open bell drive one extra pulley is provided that is the idle pulley that's why it is called as the bell drive with idler pulley fifth is fast and loose pulley sixth one is the step or con pulley drive and the seventh is compound bell drive now we understand these all the types in the detail first one is the open belt drive the open bell drive as shown in a figure so here you see this is the figure of open bell drive this is the driving shaft on the driving shaft driving pulley is installed this is the driven shaft and on the driven shaft the driven pulley is installed and these two pulley are connected by the belt like this way so it is called as the open bell drive this is the top view of the open bell drive so this is driving pulley this is belt this is driven pulley the distance between the driving pulley and the driven pulley means center distance between these two pulley is the x r1 is the radius of driving pulley r2 is the radius of driven pulley this is tight side and this is the slack side now open pulley is used to transmit power between two parallel shaft and rotating in a same directions so here we see that the driving shaft and driven shaft are parallel to each others and both the pulley are rotated in a same directions means driving pulley is rotated clockwise then driven pulley is also rotated on clockwise driving pulley is rotated anti clockwise then driven pulley is also rotated in a anti clockwise direction in an open bell drive if diameter of pulley are not same the angle of contact of two pulley are not same so here you see the driving pulley is the larger diameters driven pulley have a smaller diameters so here angle of contact means theta 1 and the theta 2 are different for a driving pulley the angle of contact theta 1 is the larger and for the smaller pulley angle of contact theta 2 is the smaller the angle of contact on a smaller pulley theta 2 is less than 180 here you see it is less than 180 and on a larger pulley it is greater than 180 so here we see it is the 180 degree and here it is slightly larger than the 180 degree therefore the slip occur first on a smaller pulley hence angle of smaller pulley is considered for designing the open bell drive and it's calculated by following equations now what is the slip slip means sometime happen that the driving shaft is rotated but belt is not rotated okay so it is called as the slip and the slip is always occur on a pulley which have a smaller angle of contact so here driven shaft have a smaller angle of contact theta 2 so when we design the open bell drive we can design the open bell drive on the basis of the theta 2 so how to find out the theta 2 so theta 2 is find out by using this equation theta 2 is equal to 2 into cos inverse in bracket r1 minus r2 upon x what is r1 it is a radius of driving shaft r2 is radius of driven shaft and x is the center distance between the two pulley now how to calculate the length of the belt so length of the belt is calculated so here in this diagram we can see it is a pi into r1 okay and here the pi into r2 then this distance is the x and this is also x so it is a 2x and here we see that the belt is not horizontal it is slight inclined so we need to add this equation r1 plus r2 square divided by x so by using this equation we can find out the length of the belt now second type is the cross belt drive so in a cross belt drive belt is fitted cross that's why its name is given the cross belt drive so here you see the diagram so it is a cross like this way okay 
So cross belt drive is shown in a figure and it is used to transmit the power when the shaft are parallel. So here we see the shaft of the driving shaft and the driven shaft are the same but rotate in opposite direction means this shaft is rotated this driving pulley is rotated clockwise okay then it is rotated in anti clockwise directions so here both the pulley are rotated in opposite direction so when we require to rotate the pulley in opposite direction we need to use the cross belt drive when we require to rotate the pulley in a same directions we need to use the open belt drives in this drive belt is cross each other so there are much wear and tear so here we see this belt are crossed to each other so here chances of wear and tear are more so this type of the drive should be used for larger distance between the two shaft and for lower speed means we need to rotate the pulley at the slower speed or a lower speed at that time we use this cross belt drives if the cross belt drive angle of contact is equal on a both the pulley theta 1 and theta 2 even when the diameter of the two pulley are not same so here in the diagram we see diameter of the driving pulley is larger diameter of the driven pulley is smaller but angle of contact theta 1 and theta 2 are same in open belt drive we see that the angle of contact of both the pulley are different so this is the advantage of the cross belt drives the angle of contact is same so chances of the slip is reduced this angle of contact may be determined by following equation so here theta 1 and theta 2 are same so theta 1 equal to theta 2 is equal to 2 in bracket pi minus cos inverse r1 plus r2 upon x and the length of the belt for a cross belt drive may be calculated by following equation so equation of the length is same so this is the x into x or so 2x plus this area that is the pi into r1 this land it is pi into r2 and in this land means in horizontals the belt is crossed so we need to add this equation r1 plus r2 square divided by x now before moving on the more types i request to like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to basic mechanical engineering or other subject of mechanical engineering for bme or eme subject various link is provided in descriptions as well as in car or you can also visit the playlist for more video third type is the quarter ton bell drive so this quarter ton bell drive is also known as the right angle bell drive so why it is called as the right angle bell drive because it is used to transmit the power between the two shaft at a right angles and rotating in one definite directions so here you see the figure so here the driving pulley driving shaft or driven shaft are at the 90 degree right angle so here you see the axis is changed here the this shaft is horizontal and this shaft is vertical so they both the shaft are at the 90 degree so when we need to transmit the power at the 90 degree we need to use the quarter ton belt drives in order to prevent the belt from leaving the pulley the larger face width pulley is used in a quarter ton belt drive there is a chance is, is that the belt is leave the pulley so we need to increase the width of the pulley in a quarter ton belt drives when the reversible motion is desires and above arrangement cannot be possible then quarter ton belt drive with a guide pulley is used so in this diagram here you see the guide pulley is used here the guide pulley is not provided so sometime we need to use the guide pulley in a quarter ton belt drive fourth one is the belt drive with idler pulley a belt drive with an idler pulley is shown in a figure is used with a shaft arranged parallel and when open belt drive cannot be used due to small angle of contact on a smaller pulley so here you see the two diagram of a belt drive with idler pulley so here you see this is the driving shaft this is a driven shaft so by using this idler pulley here the angle of contact is increased on a smaller pulley in open belt drive we see that angle of contact is less than 180 so here angle of contact is increased so chances of slip is also reduced so in open belt drive due to the less angle of contact we cannot use so in open belt drive we can provide the idler pulley and we can increase the angle of contact 
the idler pulley help to increase the angle of contact of belt so belt tension is increased and drive provides the high velocity ratio idler pulley drive is also known as the jockey pulley drives so this idler pulley sometime it is also called as the jockey pulley drives so by using idler pulley what happens this angle of contact is increased angle of contact is increased then tension is increased and the high velocity ratio is achieved so you need to remember main three points so by idler pulley angle of contact is increased tension is also increased and the velocity ratio is also increased fifth is fast and loose pulley drive so here you see the diagram of the fast and loose pulley so on a driving pulley and this is the driven pulley this is the driven shaft so on a driven shaft the two pulley are provided one is called as the fast pulley second one is called as the loose pulley so fast and loose pulley drive is used when the driven shaft or machine shaft is to be started or stop whenever desire without stopping the driving shaft means this driven shaft is start or stop without stopping this driving pulley suppose this driving pulley is connected with the motor okay so this driving shaft is continuously rotated and this driven shaft is connected with the machine so we just need to stop the machine then what we need to do we just transfer this belt from the fast pulley to loose pulley a pulley which is keyed to the driven shaft is called as the fast pulley means this fast pulley is fitted by using the key on a driven shaft so when the fast pulley is rotated this driven shaft is rotated the fast pulley runs with a driving shaft a loose pulley run freely over the machine shaft and it's not transmitting any power so here you see this loose pulley is not transmitting any power on this shaft okay so just only pulley is rotated but the shaft is not rotated so when the driven shaft is required to be stop the belt is pushed on the loose pulley by sliding bar having the belt frog as shown in a figures so when we are not required to run the machines at that time this belt is pushed on the loose pulley so only loose pulley is rotated the driven shaft is not rotated so we can stop the machine six one is the step or corn pulley drive so here you see this is a diagram of the step so this pulley is provided with various step here you see this is first step this is second step and this is the third step so in this here you see one step second third and fourth step this is the another diagram this is a driving shaft on a driving shaft step pulley is there on a driven shaft also step pulley is there a step or corn pulley drive is used where different speed are required at a driven shaft while the main or driving shaft is run at the constant speed means we are required a different speed on the driven shaft at that time we can need to use the step or corn pulley so this is possible by shifting the belt from one part of the step to the another as shown in a figure so here we see it on a driving shaft on this step the diameter is larger here the diameter is smaller so more speed is available now when we push this belt on the second step so here both the diameter are that so here we can achieve the same speed of the driving shaft and the driven shafts then after we move this belt on a third step so here the diameter is smaller here the diameter is larger so on a driven shaft we can achieve the less speed than the driving shaft so we can achieve a variable speed by using the step or corn pulley drive and the last one is the compound belt drive so here you see the diagram of the compound belt drive so in a compound belt drive more than two pulley is used means in between the driving pulley and the driven pulley intermediate pulleys are provided so this is the same type diagrams this is driving pulley these two are intermediate pulley two and three and this fourth one is the driven pulley a compound belt drive is used when there are large speed ratio is required means larger speed ratio are there at that time we need to use the compound belt drive larger center distance between the driving and driven shaft is available means between this driving shaft and the driven shaft the more distance are there at that time we need to use the compound belt drive 
पावर इज ट्रांसमिटेड फ्रॉम पुली वन टू पुली फोर सो हियर यू सी दिस इज पुली वन सो फ्रॉम वन पुली टू फोर पुली पावर इज ट्रांसमिटेड इन बिटवीन द इंटरमीडिएट पुली टू एंड थ्री मीन्स ट्रांसमिटिंग द पावर फ्रॉम पुली वन टू पुली फोर टू इंटरमीडिएट पुली आर प्रोवाइडेड इट्स नेम इज द पुली टू एंड पुली थ्री which are fixed to one intermediate shaft as shown in this figure means this intermediate pulley is provided on this intermediate shaft so thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video and don't forget to share with your friends